Mr. Henry Putnam, Professor of Economics and Public Affairs at Princeton University and the co-director of Princeton Center for Health and Wellbeing. She co-directs the NBR Program for Family and Children. She is a member of the National Academy of Science and a fellow of the Society of Labor Economists. She is a pioneer in, economic, in the economic analysis of uh, child development and an inspiration to many of us in this field. Her current work focuses also on inequalities in health, in healthcare access, in an environmental justice, and on mental health. Today, she gave a presentation at the Fair Midway Conference on inequalities and exposure to environmental hazards. Welcome to Coffee with Janet Curry. Thank you. Thanks a lot for um, talking to us. So what was the main message of the talk today? So the talk that I gave today was about the differences in exposure to pollution by blacks and whites in the United States and showing using new data that there's very persistent differences, but also that uh, general anti-pollution regulation has narrowed those differences. And how did you become interested in this field? So I've done a lot of work looking at the effects of pollution, especially on children. So uh, the fetus in utero and young children showing that it has a big effect on people's initial health. And so looking at racial inequalities, there's also a lot of differences in, in health, differences in things like birth weight, prematurity, and then for older people, differences in uh, mortality due to heart disease. And what I wondered was, well, how much of that might be due to differences in exposure to pollution? So this uh, research is sort of a first step in answering that question by showing how big the gaps in exposure are. Interesting. So what do you think are the main knowledge gaps in this field still? There's a lot of knowledge gaps in this field. So I'm looking at the effect of one regulation on one type of pollution, which, which is small particulates. Uh, that's a very important type of pollution that's been linked to a lot of health effects, but there's so many other things like exposure to lead or exposure to other kinds of toxins um, being located near incinerators or hazardous waste sites. And all of those things, there's racial disparities. So I think the, the big knowledge gap is how do all these things add up to give people different, uh, different health and different starts in life. You have worked on many different topics, like you are a pioneer in the economics of uh, child development, you have worked on mental health and yeah, now environmental justice, but also inequalities in health. So what's, what do you think is kind of the next thing that you approach, so the next big topic? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. I think I will keep working on those topics. To me, they're all very related. So I'm, I'm concerned about people getting a, a fair start in life and the things that cause especially health to be different for different groups. And so all of these things that I've studied are, are connected to that overarching question. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of your work. Thank Thanks you. a lot for Thank you so much. having coffee with us. Thank you.